the voice. We all know that famous line that King George VI uttered in the King's speech, but I have a voice. And we know that voice is often talked about in relationship to stuttering. There's a wonderful book, Voice Unearthed by Dory Holt, who also has a Facebook group by the same name. It's about children who stutter. Voice has been a part of the stuttering conversation for a long time. There are therapies that target the voice, like a Valsalva, which works on uh, releasing tension in the voice or voice onsets, making them gentle instead of hard voice attacks. We know that it's been in the conversation, but I think that there is so much that we don't realize about the voice and there's so much that's also not understood. And that's why it hasn't really been what has helped people who stutter to speak easily. And yes, I still believe that people who stutter can speak easily. It's within them. It's not something that isn't them. It's not trying to make them into somebody that they're not. But everybody has a voice. And that is the wonderful thing. We are all born with vocal cords. We have a larynx, that's our voice box. And within the larynx are the vocal cords. And what would life be like if we didn't have these vocal cords? We wouldn't be able to communicate verbally. And probably our ability to formulate language would not have developed. We can write language, but Imagine that we didn't just communicate with one another. I don't think we would have gotten to the writing. So voice is so important. And you know what? If you stutter, the voice is so important to you. Okay, so what is this voice that I'm talking to you about today? Well, we have within our throat vocal cords. Okay, but we can do a lot with our vocal cords. The fact that we're using them doesn't necessarily mean that we're using them in the way that they are meant to be used in order to speak. So, I can laugh and use my vocal cords. <laughs> I can uh, clear my throat. <clears throat> and I can do many other things. I can use my voice in different ways to speak. Ha, 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 okay, ha, ham. You see, I was using my voice in a different way than I do naturally. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about. What is the natural way to use your voice? If you're a person who stutters, I want you to take this into account because it will make your experience in speaking so much better. It will make it flow. It will make it easier. It will reduce the tension. And I don't mean by trying to relax them. Okay, so in normal speech production, the voice is the essence. It is the energy for speaking. And the way the vocal cords are meant to be used in order to speak is to produce what's called a vocal buzz. It's a little buzzing sound, uh, like that. And when you're producing the voice, that is what you are meant to be doing, making that vocal sound. Now, the voice is the essence. And what happens when we're speaking, we make these vibrations. It's just vibrational noise. It's not speech sounds. And then the mouth 
shapes these sound, these vibrations, the energy, the vibrational buzz that we create, it shapes it into different speech sounds. So if I'm just doing a voice, uh, and my mouth was open like that, that's what you heard. But if I do this with my mouth, uh, or this, okay, it comes out different. So you see, whatever happens to be the shape of the mouth will have an effect on how you perceive that vibration to be. So, what we want to do is let our voice be the essence. Now, what do I mean by the essence? Let's say I want to say my name and I'm going to make the vibrations the essence. Then my name is Barbara. So that's how I did it. But if I were trying to make my mouth be the leader, be the thing that gets the word out, I might do Barbara, Barbara. So my voice was different in both those samples. My voice was a little different one from the other. But in both cases, it didn't have that quality that it normally has. So I know this is a little bit hard to understand, but I wanted to give you something today that you could really take home, you could really work with. We know that people who stutter have the capability to produce a normal voice. And as a matter of fact, when they go to make their voice to sing, it's usually not a problem at all. So if you can do that, if you can sing, then certainly you can speak because singing is much more complex than speaking. Now, play around with it. Give it a try. What have you got to lose? Play around with your voice. And I hope that you can just understand that stuttering is not a problem in the inability to say words. It is a problem that the voice is not usually, or not all of the time, the essence of speaking. It's sort of the other way around, that the words become the major thing, the speech sound, and the voice is secondary. So we wanna make the voice primary and play around. You could try to do it, why not? I hope that this video helps you. I really want to help everybody who stutters, who wants to play around with different ways of speaking, to understand what some of the most beneficial ways of playing around with it are. That's my goal. I know that it's not easy to struggle to speak. So, my gift to you is to help you to speak as easily as possible. Thanks for listening. Oh, and if you want, you can subscribe. I guess I should have told you that in the beginning. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if there are any questions that you would like answered. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.